Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about colour correction. In the Affinity software there's lots of ways to affect the colour within a image. But for colour correction my favourite way is by the levels. I'm going to come over to the adjustments and I'm going to click on levels. What are levels? By default, levels are for your highlights and shadows. When you've got master, RGB master, your black levels will make your shadows darker if you move the slide. And if you keep going, it will eventually affect the highlights and make them darker. The white levels makes your highlights lighter. And if you keep going, it will affect your shadows. Your gamma is your mid-tones and your output black levels. What that does is, if you slide across, it puts highlights into your shadows and the output white levels put shadows into your highlights. For color correction, we're gonna go by the channels. If we come down to the reds, and the black levels what that does is it takes the reds out of your shadows while the white levels puts reds into your highlights the output black levels puts reds into your shadows while the output white levels takes the reds out of your highlights when I'm color correcting, what what I like to do is I don't only make one levels adjustment, I do a couple and then we can choose across which one is the best. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the reds out of the shadows and the white levels. I'm gonna add some reds. And then if we come to greens, it does the exact same as what the reds do. If I take the greens out, it's going to get darker. If I take the greens out with the reds, um, out of the shadows. What I want to do is add some greens into the whites. And the output black level, I'm going to add a little bit of green. In, into the shadows then I'm gonna come to blue and I'm gonna do the same with the blue if I take the blues out of the shadows you can see it starts to get lighter I'm gonna give it about five percent and if we're doing the same with the white levels about four percent looks all right and then just close that off that's what it looked like before that's what it looks like now it looks a little bit warmer what i'm going to do is though i'm going to open up a new one and go to levels again and do a second one. this time i'm not going to touch the reds i'm just going to do the greens i'm going to put some greens into the highlights and a bit into the highlights then i'm going to go to the blues i don't want to take the blues out in the shadow so i'm not going to do that i'm going to add some blues six percent if i add some blues into the shadows it will start to make it lighter I'm only going to go 1% and go 3% on the blues. That's what it looks like now. That's what it looks like then. Now we can choose what we want. Personally, I like the first one more. But what we can do is we can switch them both on and have them both on at the same time. That's how you're color correct your image 
with levels. There's other ways to affect colour, but the levels are my favourite. If you've enjoyed this video, can you please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.